Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the product of prime factors when you have a number which is not ending in zero. Okay, so let's have a look at example one. So we're going to write 72 as a product of prime factors. So the best way to do the product of prime factors is to do a factor tree. So I'm going to put 72 at the top of the tree. Now I know 72 is in the two times table because it ends in a two. So if I just work out 72 divided by two on the side of my page, seven divided by two is three, remainder one, 12 divided by two is six. Okay, so two times 36 is 72. Okay, so if we get a prime number, I'm going to circle it. If it's not a prime number, I'm going to split it up. So two is a prime number, Again, 36 is not a prime number um, because it's in the 2 times table. Okay, so again, half of 36 is 18. So 2 times 18 gives 36. 2 is a prime number. Again, 9 isn't, so I'm going to split up the 18. So again, it's in the 2 times table. So 2 times 9 is 18. So again, 2 is prime, um, 9 is not prime because it's in the 3 times table. So 3 times 3 is 9. And these are both prime numbers. So we just need to write the final answer as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So this is the product of prime factors because they all multiply to give 72. So let's have a look at the second example then. So we've got to write 315 as a product of prime factors. Okay, so this time it's not going to be in the twos because it's not an even number. Um, but since it ends in a five, we know it's in the five times table. So let's divide that by 5 to work out how many times it goes into 315. So 5's into 3 don't go. 5's into 31 goes 6, remainder 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. So we can split 315 into 5 times 63. So 5 is a prime number. Um, I don't think 63 is a prime number because I think it's in the 3 times table so let's just check that. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So our next one is 21 times 3. So 3 is prime, uh, 21 isn't. So we need to split 21 up. So we just need two numbers that multiply to give 21. So 3 goes into 21, so it would be 3 times 7. So 3 is prime, 7 is prime. So we can't split any more numbers up now. So our product of prime factors will be 3 times 3 times 5. And that's times 7 at the end there. And that's our final answer. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.